windsurf version 2 with some major upgrades such as web search automated memories code execution improvements improvements in the problems tab here you can see cascade is identifying the task and searching the internet to get relevant information and performing the task here is automated memory cascade can remember our conversation and able to be relevant while we have a conversation with that execution is now streamlined and able to directly fix issues if any problem occurs and i'm going to show you all these latest features and more let's get started so if you don't know about windsurf it's an ai code editor which speeds up your process of building any application fixing errors refactoring your code everything simplified so download windsurf editor if you haven't this is windsurf editor and the two shortcuts you might need to remember is command l and command i command l is cascade where you can give a task and it can perform it for you such as creating an application or refactoring the code it goes and create those required files and able to execute commands for you but today we are going to see some new features which got added that is internet search so first going to open a new tab here clicking plus i want to build ai agents with knowledge so going to the url and going to copy the url that is the documentation page and pasting that here and just asking create AI agents with knowledge and then clicking enter now it's going to the web page collecting all the required information preparing all the chunks creating the requirements.txt file it identified that it already exists so it's going to update that it prepared a test agent for me i can accept those changes now the second important thing is that the ability to directly run terminal commands from cascade so i can just click accept and it can automatically create the required files that is a smooth process so here is a knowledge agent and we are providing the knowledge using this sample.txt so i'm just creating a sample.txt file and it has some information now we are going to test its terminal capability i'm going to say run at knowledge agent and clicking enter it's verifying if the required sample.txt file is available and it's now trying to run clicking accept now it's finding an error so it's just trying different ways of doing it it found that there's no module available so it's trying to automatically install it for me creating a virtual environment activating the virtual environment and installing all the required packages now it's trying to run it and now it's asking me for open AI api key i'm just saying it's in the dot env file to load the dot env file it's automatically making those modification in that file i'm accepting those and just trying to run it again i can see it's more streamlined so it can identify the issue and able to provide the fix and making further changes and now finally it is able to run and got me the output that is brilliant so comparatively it's streamlined but i feel it could be still smoother because i had to face few issues and it was trying to solve one by one this could be much more simpler but i'm facing this issue only when i try to deal with api key up from my other testings this looks much more smoother next another feature which i want to show you is in the problems tab so clicking on problems you can see there's an issue here so you can directly click the send to cascade and it will automatically send the error message to cascade and you can just click enter and now it started working through the issue and fixing the code it's proposing a change accepting the change now if i go to the problems tab there are no problems that is nice next i want to show you about memories here you can see proactively saving whatever information is important but you can also ask it to remember and it should be able to remember to the memory you can also manage your memory in the settings and modify those memory but this memory feature is not available to everyone yet it's slowly rolling out so there's one more feature which i see here like when you click at it brings up google drive jira github slack and these are new advancements which i believe will be rolled out very sooner because i saw this in the demo video but it's not available to me yet but if this comes into play that will change massively the way we develop application and we don't need to copy any bit of code from anywhere to reference it or even design documentation you can directly link it from here that would be super cool i'm waiting for that update finally i want to show you about the support provided to the dev container so the dev container is nothing but 
a dedicated development environment for developers and it uses a docker file to build that environment and it simplifies the process of development so now windsurf support this so click on the bottom right hand corner and you can even open this as a container if you have already created that dev container so i'm just clicking this reopen in container and now it reopened in a container as you can see here and using this it's easy for me to develop any application and test it right from the container overall i'm really impressed about all these updates one key feature which i feel like it's lagging compared to cursor is the ability to use o1 model so if you go to cascade there's an option at the bottom to choose cloud 3.5 sonnet or gpt 40 if there is an addition o1 then that would have been much better compared to cursor because if i open cursor i have that option to choose o1 o1 preview o1 mini so that is the only bit missing in windsurf that makes me to come to cursor compared to windsurf do let me know in the comments below what you think about this considering you already like windsurf i also created in-depth tutorial for beginners which i highly recommend for you to watch which i'll put the link in here and i will see you there